welcome back. So today I have an Ipsy bag um, bagging and in my last video I asked you guys what you thought if I should cancel my subscription. Um, I have not been pleased with the, my last Ipsy bags and they kind of go like ebb and flow for me but in all reality I find that I'm at a place with my Ipsy bag that I'm really passing along more of the products that I'm actually using and although I like to do the video for y'all just to see what comes in the Ipsy bag I'm not quite sure it's worth it so I went ahead and going I am going through with canceling my bag in the process of kind of thinking about that I didn't cancel the subscription I got another one so this will probably be the last Ipsy bag on my channel I do appreciate all the feedback that you guys gave me the majority of people said yes cancel it that they were disappointed as well. Um, it is a great bag for some people who are looking to kind of build their collection, try out different samples. It's a monthly subscription. It's $10. Um, there are several other types of um, subscription bags and boxes like this that I think I'm going to try instead just to get a little bit more variety. So with that being said, I did cash in a few of my Ipsy points to get a few bonus items in this bag. So let's go ahead and see what came in this month's bag. So first of all, I cashed in a few of my Ipsy points. If you guys um, do reviews on there or if anyone signs up using your link, you get points. And with those points, you can sometimes cash things in. A lot of the products go really quickly, so you kind of have to be on the ball. I happened to sign on to look into canceling, and I got this lipstick from Barry minerals it's called be free it's a beautiful nude pinky peachy nude color and I love the packaging on these lipsticks it is full size so that's really nice um, like I said occasionally they do have some really great uh, bonus things that you can get with your ipsy points but they sell out rather quickly so you kind of have to be really good at signing on there to be able to catch some of the things. The next thing is this is from Jcat Beauty and it is a lip paint. It's in the color Queen of Hearts. Okay, this month's bag is really cute. I think that's very nice and springy. Uh, it's just like blue and some neon colors. It's a really nice one. The bag is a little bit cheap feeling, but I do like the pattern on it. First things up is no Pores No More Anti-Aging Mattifying Lotion from Dr. Brandt. I honestly feel like I've gotten something very similar in my bag before. This is just a mattifying lotion that you put on prior to putting on your makeup. Um, yeah, I feel like I've gotten this a similar thing like this before. Maybe it was a primer, but this is a lotion. Next thing up is from Pure Lease. And this is a sulfate-free, non-drying, gently washes dirt and makeup away, even mascara. I really like this brand. I have a sunscreen from them. This is a really nice size, especially for traveling. I really am excited about this particular product because it says sulfate-free and non-drying. And it specifically has in parentheses, even mascara, okay? All of us girls know that when you're washing your face, you wash your face off and you like you like get in and you look in the mirror and it's like, <laughs> or you have like, you know, still the mascara all over. So I always have to go in and wash with something else or, you know, use a specific eye makeup remover. So I'm going to test this out and it's called the Gentle Soy Milk Cleanser and Makeup Remover. So I'm really, really am excited about this and I will update you guys on this product definitely because I'm going to test that theory out if it does take away mascara because if it does, that's going to be a new favorite of mine. Next thing up is a butter lipstick from NYX. I really love this color. This is in Hunk and I have all of the butter lipsticks so I'm not going to swatch this one but this is a beautiful like this reminds me of Max Rebel beautiful beautiful color so that will be passed on but that is a great product to that is included in here and I just do happen to have that color Oh, I'm really excited about this because I've heard one of my friends I think it's Kathleen from uh, Kathleen lights has mentioned this before but it is the Bobo cover-up concealer and I think when she mentioned this I was like I need to look this up so Kathleen is this what you talked about I really really am excited to try this it's a cover-up concealer it's a very concentrated concealer, I believe. Yeah, so it has like a little squeeze tube. 
very much so and that is like the perfect color for me so I'm really excited it has like a little bit of a fresh scent but nothing bad so that's really nice because you guys know I smell everything and I'm really all about the scent if it does not smell good I will not use it bottom line that's just the way it is so and then the last thing is called vintage and this is an illuminating face highlighter this is in the color crystal pink and it is by Jessica Libe skinned not sure L-I-E-B-E-S-K-I-N-D. I -E -E -I, I just really like phonics hooked on you that one and sp sounded that out. So it is a very pink. This is actually looks more like it would be an eyeshadow, but like super buttery. Super buttery. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh snap. You guys, this is so creamy. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if I would use this like as a highlighter on the face. Maybe I would use it to like mix in or a blush topper. But even an eyeshadow. Oh my gosh. I kind of feel like a little bit. <laughs> you guys are going to kill me. You're going to kill me. I kind of feel a little bit like maybe I should cancel my Ipsy. Like this is what Ipsy does to me. I I feel like that was a good bag for me. Like, I liked that bag. I liked everything in it. Maybe I'll go another month. I don't know. I don't know. Because I really did like this bag. I like this bag. So, I'm going to really think about it. I'm going to strongly think about it. I do think I need to move on to other bags and show more of a variety. But that was a good one. So we'll see. <laughs> what did you guys get in your Ipsy bag this month? Are you thinking of canceling? Are you going to stick with it? Um, let me know in your comments down below. What did you think about my bag? Did you guys agree with me that it was a better bag than I've been getting? Because there's a lot of products in there I'm excited to try. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next video. Mwah. You guys, I just got done filming this. I took all my lipstick off and then I decided to look in the mirror and what did I see? A rat tail. Part of my bun came out and like rat tailed right here. <laughs> this would be the point where I'm like, please, dear sweet baby Jesus, do not have a rat tail like hanging on my shoulder in the video footage, or I'm gonna have to splice in this little ditty in the beginning and just apologize that I did not realize that I had a 1985 rat tail hanging out the back of my do. Okay? <laughs> so if this is in the beginning of the video, I'm sorry, let's get to the Ipsy bag. If this is at the end of the video, I apologize if you may have seen it flopping around back here, but you were like, is that a rat tail?